Hey there gents, Weapon2 is back with another video review. And today I'm doing my latest vid on Transformers Dark of the Moon Voyager Class Optimus Prime. Finally. Yeah, I just got this figure when it was just uh, came out on the 16th of this month in May. Yeah, Walmart started hacking them on the shelves. So anyway, let's get down to the figure, shall we? Now, before I get into details with this figure, there's some things I like, and there's some things I don't like about it. Okay, well, first, uh, the part that I like is, um, his, um, truck mode is fairly decent. Um, well, he's got these long smokestacks, they're not very soft, like most of the Prime figures. He's got some flames, but, um, he's got very less flames than the standard, uh, Voyager class or Leader class Optimus Prime figures. Um, though he doesn't have his translucent headlights, but he does have these, um, yellow touches here. Um, got some nice detailing. Yeah. He's cool his hair and the, the ginormous, um, jet engines here that look kind of like exaggerated size gas tanks. But, that's, that doesn't bother me that much anyway. Um, so he does roll freely, sort of. Um, he has uh, his um, tinted purple on the his windshields and these these clear parts where these solar panels are. These whatever they are. Of course, he's got the Metech board with also uh, for the Takara version it holds the the trailer. I don't have that version yet. And what I don't like about him is, uh, I don't know if this will be featured in the movie, but the, the solar panels here kind of take away the look of the truck. Um, these parts here, these where these mega parts are, do as well. And they applied no paint abs for inside the wheels whatsoever. Uh, also, um, the... Separation gap. I think they're doing an homage to the 2007 Voyager Optimus Prime. Though I do have him, them both out, but um, the 2007 version is in robot mode, so we'll get the the ROTF repaint instead. Yeah, this has a um, almost the same separation gap with these gray pieces like here, but this has a lot more interior than than this part. Um, of course the uh, ROTF version has these uh, Chinese writing on here, which wasn't featured in the movie. Um, and the bottom here, um, I think they're doing another homage to the the 2007 version, except it's got more red here, it's got more blue, and the hands are over here, just like the these ones, these except these are closed hands. And of course, the ROTF repaint ha also has have uh, painted wheels as well. Let's put in this angle so we can show it better. And of course, the um, Dark of the Moon uh, more exclusive Battle Hulk Optimus Prime has the same same issue. Though I haven't done a review on him yet. Um, I, I will eventually get the star printing on the, the sides here and the, the moon and the stars on the windshields and the unpainted wheels as well. But there's no separation gap here. And uh, of course, the uh, has the same mold as the uh, Battle Battle Blaze Optimus Prime, and uh, he has the same detail as uh, the the Leader Class RLTF version. So, well, being a Voyager Class figure, he's the smallest in the bunch. Yeah, I don't know why they're going for small, especially with the the Voyager Class Dark of the Moon Ironhide, which is kind of unusual, but doesn't bother me that much. Okay, so I guess that's uh, about it for these guys here. Now, getting to his mech tech weapon. Put back in this angle again. Um, yes, it's spring loaded. Mind you, of anything? Well, let's find out. Yeah, but. This was uh, modified with 
before with the spring is taken out and put in the other arm. So I should have brought out my uh, my premium version, which I didn't modify. So just for example, so what? I just hope that gave you some idea. Oh, here's another size comparison with Commander class um, or Legion's class Optimus Prime. Yeah, pretty small. And for the mech tech weapon, you can uh, you can lock it, you know. Just uh, this plunger thing, you just rotate the, that side, the, the the left side, and it stays in place. I like Megatron, 2007 Megatron Fusion Cannon, and it wanna if you. Transform it back into its original shape. You just you you get the idea. Just rotate it back and um, store it on the back of Optimus Prime's cab. Yeah, this is. I think they're doing an homage to the 2007 Leader Prime, where you store the the cannon on the back of back of his cab, and also on this side. Or here, whatever. But I'm just going to show you here. Yeah. I think I like it better in the back instead of the size. And my annoying refrigerator. Oh, this has solar panel panels too. Point that out as well. So. Beginning the transformation, um, let's um, separate the the jet engines from the sides and then fold them into place like like so. Um, well, okay, we'll um, attach the top section here like that. And loosen these uh, parts too. And. Uh, And just um, separate the side too. We'll get the feet folded down and the, the wheels to fold in place. Um, it's a little tricky to get into the, the whole socket here. So there we go. And the other side. And we fold these um, these sections down like so. Try to get the smokestacks in place too. There you go. And now we'll fold, move the legs down like that, and open this side and get Prime's head out, and then. Push this into the whole socket there, like so. Now we fold these sections out too, and get his back kibble and snap into place. Um, we'll separate this part here. Um, we'll detach the on this from these pegs here. Slide these panels into the place. Yeah, they're very stiff. <laughs> my, my figure still knows, so it's, it's going to have a lot of less stiff joints and articulation. And we'll move his chest plate up and rotate it into place and press these on, into the pegs here. And the, for the wheels. Fold them down. And here is Voyager Dark and Moon up in the Prime's robot mode. Yes. And oh, oh, he's got some hidden the solar panel here too, both of his knees. For articulation, his head can move like 360 degrees. Arms can rotate 360. Um, 
the red the waist can rotate 360 too. The arm can rotate this angle at 360. And the hands uh, are in a ball joint. Has a double jointed uh, elbow here. You know, I really like the robot mode better because I'm um, not as nearly as crappy as the uh, the Dark of the Moon Ultimate Optimus Prime, which I saw images of, which I mentioned about in my previous review. Lake articulation, the knees can, or ratchet joints. Here's, um, yeah, the knee, knee joints. Um, ankle joints, not much motion to it, surprisingly, and they can move in this direction, but only on the inside. Yeah. Unlike the other, uh, Two movie Voyager Primes. This has a rotating waist, which the other ones didn't have. Get his mech tech weapon and uh, transform it like the like this. I'm trying to grab it while I block the transformation. Yeah, now you can see the solar panel detail. Clearly. Oh, he's got nice light piping here. It's uh, tinted purple, and his um, he's got some silver pan abs here, and his new abs, and he's got patterns on his uh, windshield chest here. So, yeah. Well, let's do another size comparison with him in the 2007 version. Yep. Yeah, well, of course he. He is the tallest, and the Voyager figures were a lot taller back then. And for the Battle Blades Hunter Septicons Voyager Prime, well, he is um, a tap taller than this this one. They do look great together, though. Um, that's just my opinion. Um, this is the only one that has uh, launching guns, obviously. And his guns are detachable, which I already showed you in my previous review. This guy only has one gun that can transform from a standard mode to a battle mode. Oh, something weird about this one. Look where they molded the wheels here. But, and the, the wheels are already on his arms and the both sides of his ankles here and here. Well, they could have just, either they could have left that out or just... Painted these wheels here. Like the wheels are on on his um, on his thighs to be a little will be accurate. You could have had some silver abs here. Well, none of these have silver abs on the, the top of his thighs. Though this guy doesn't have movie accurate transformation. Then again, neither did the 2007 version. So uh, overall, I give this figure um, eight and a half out of ten. I know most reviewers like this figure. Um, I, I didn't think I was going to like him as much when I saw images on on this uh, particular Voyager class in the beginning of this this year. It, it looked looked good in person than it did in the, the photos. Yeah, of course he's got blue on his um, his his arms here, and his, his, el his shoulders, and with the red inside. So I point that out too as well. Would I recommend getting him? I don't see why not. If you're a big fan of Optimus Prime himself, and I mean, if he's available in your stores, I mean, simply pick him up. I mean, he's he's worth having. So that's all I gotta say. Okay, well I'm gonna cut it right here. Hope you enjoyed this review on the Dark of the Moon Voyager drop this Prime, and stick around for more of my videos coming soon. Thank you for watching. Weapon 2 signing off.